Mystical 33. My name is Ray, and in this one here, we're going to look into Harry Styles and Taylor Russell. If you find yourself enjoying, please do me a favor, hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. What could you tell us about Taylor Russell and Harry Styles? Starting off with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit Energy card here. Interesting. We have the Before Thought card that came out for the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Afterthought Hermit here. He does have a snake and the wolf. That leads me to believe that he has wisdom behind the whole solitude process and thinking. It's almost like observing changes, thinking about changes, where we want to go with these changes, where are we headed, but they know where they're going because there's knowledge behind it that they have ob obtained. Harry Styles and Taylor Russell, please. What could you tell us about Taylor Russell and Harry Styles? What could you tell us? Thank you. It looks like they're moving ahead in their path together here, some shape or form, because it brings happiness to them on projects. There's definitely cycles involved. Another snake here. It's wrapped around his waist in the Seven of Cups here. He's also holding gems too. It's almost like he took from two cups. One might be deeper than the other. But it's like powerfully defeating any nightmares to bring them towards happiness and projects that they work on together. They're working through with each other on the path that lies between them that they share. They're definitely nourishing each other and helping each other see things differently. It's like teamwork. Harry Styles and Taylor Russell, please. Defeating changes. Any difficult ones they work through together, it looks like. Because they like what they have between each other. What could you tell us about Harry Styles and Taylor Russell? Here we have the Four of Cups. We have the Hermit with the Before Thought Tarot here. And this one here, he only has a snake, but it's in the shape and form of the uh, Hourglass. Also, could be a cup, too, if you look at it a certain way. So, the Four of Cups here, the Afterthought Tarot, the Seeker, the Fool here, is pouring out what he had taken down, anything that's brought apathy with it. Being about in solitude, defeating it, being thankful, 
being happy. It's like I'm hearing content. What could you tell us about Harry Styles and Taylor Russell? So it looks like Taylor Russell is the one that's balancing out anything to bring in strength. I could personally see it as her providing strength as well, but her hitting like something very powerful within herself, finding a balance, being very strong, courageous, feeling brave on top of the world here. It's like overcoming things and feeling as though being able to take a breather because in this the first nine of swords you're defeating the nightmares there in the nine of swords it's like having nightmares while resting there like dealing with things that have happened maybe having some premonitions of the future and dealing with that and trying to make changes so whatever it is that she's seeing won't come but I'm seeing it more of her overcoming her fears and them working together and by doing so it helps her feel stronger what could you tell us about Taylor Russell and Harry Styles The third nine so far. Definitely closing out cycles here. Learning from anything that was a disappointment and that was secret but revealed. Learning from them but also being bound to them. It's almost like certain things that might have caused one or the other trauma and it's like they're able to communicate about it and it helps them progress to move forward So it looks like they're really working well together. And by doing so, it's it's like bringing this, this wonderful healing in. It's, it seems as though it's coming out mutual because we don't have either or party. As like the court cards, the king of swords or queen of cups. She is on the cusp of Leo. So I would see her as the queen of cups and queen of wands myself with reading as I follow the cusps. So, anyways, they are moving their wheel of fortune. And they're moving it towards where they want to go. And placing themselves in that situation, trying to create that cycle for themselves. They might be trying to keep it, like, what they're doing under wraps, just for privacy. Um... But it's what they're doing. It really makes them feel better, more secure, stronger, braver, feeling better about the, the type of path that they have. The things that come along their path as they go forward, they're able to work together very well and defeat the things that need to be t defeated and conquering problems. Even situations that feel like deep nightmares. So they are they have what I'm seeing here 
it's like they're working very well together with teamwork. So that's where I'm going to leave this reading off at. If you found yourself enjoying, please do me a favor. Hit that like button, share, comment, subscribe. Until next time, you guys. Off to Zane. Bye-bye.